Thank you. Stay in your seats. Thank you. Our next comedian hails originally from Colorado. You may have seen her on Comic Strip Live, as well as MTV's own Just Say Julie. How about a nice warm welcome for Felicia Michaels. speaking voice like you you don't believe me huh you don't you don't you don't but this is it i can change it i can make it lower i can make it higher but people never believe me sometimes people get belligerent that can't be your voice it's not natural no like i have a helium tank stuck up my butt <laughs> no like all day i'm walking around going hi bob oh god i gotta get to the show People hear my voice, they see my blonde hair, and they automatically think I'm really stupid. I know that's hard to believe. I think people in general think blonde women are stupid, and a lot of blonde women get really pissed, but I think it's cool. Yeah, because then you can make, like, major mistakes, and no one ever gets mad at you. I didn't mean to sleep with your brother. stupid and I think he has a lot of nerve to say that because he's a musician so he's not really bright uh, <laughs> oh it's true it's true the other day he thought the word narcolepsy is when you snitch on an epileptic doing drugs younger he used to get high a lot you know but he doesn't anymore though because you shouldn't get high it's bad for you people in russia they don't get high because it'd probably be a drag to get high get the munchies and go stand in line for two hours <laughs> it's scary when you find out um your boyfriend's not too smart it's scary because usually you find out during a game of scrabble <laughs> honey how do you spell <laughs> someone that stupid so you're like oh i think it was a kill <laughs> so he's bizarre my parents hate him too they hate him they think i can do better uh, i tried to look for someone who was sensitive and caring but those kind of guys already have boyfriends <laughs> My dad's getting weird because he's getting older. When your parents get older, they start telling you those strange stories. When I was born, I was born on my mama's kitchen table. What do you got to say about that, girl? <laughs> Don't think I'm eating at grandma's anymore. <laughs> and my parents, they fight all the time. They fight all the time. I remember I came home from school once. My parents were in this really horrible fight. I lost so much respect for my dad because my mom had him in a headlock. <laughs> Uh, he's a cool guy though my dad he is cool now, he was um in the military service for 20 years he even went to vietnam thank god he came back you know but when he came back he was a little shell shock which is a horrible thing you know but remember when you're a little kid and you used to try to use everything to your advantage you know, so whenever i got into trouble it's like god dad i swear to god i'll never do it again <laughs> Sometimes people get mad at that joke. They come up to me after the show. That's not funny. My dad was in Vietnam, too. These are just jokes, people. Jokey, 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 jokey. <laughs> people get pissed. You could do a joke about the Wizard of Oz. After the show, someone will come up and go, Hey, man, that's not funny. My aunt was killed by a flying house. <laughs> just jokes. Make fun of it anyway, because I feel that all men have flash men have flashbacks, even men who have never seen war. You know, like you ever walk down the street, you see a guy do this. 
<laughs> Vietnam, 69, no, dodgeball, third grade. Even my boyfriend, he's sweet though, he's sweet, he's always mad at me though, I hate that, you know. Sometimes a man will get mad at you for some stupid little reason, like driving his car to the mall with the emergency brake on or something. <laughs> I know, it's like, let it go. You can always get new brakes, baby, I'm here forever. <laughs> and the big thing lately though is he says I've been watching too much TV. But I've been watching the news and they've been saying stuff about disease and stuff. And they said if you think you're with someone who's scummy or promiscuous, you should make them wear one of those things, you know? Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know, so I asked my boyfriend to wear one because he's a musician and they're scummy. <laughs> oh, like it's new information. <laughs> and he goes, when I wear 